Wintry conditions will be upon us soon in Southeast Texas. Yes, that means you're probably going to crank up the heat in your home. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers talked to firefighters about how you can do that safely over the next few days here. Brittany, good morning. And good morning. Certainly now is the time to get prepared. And whether you have a wood burning or gas fireplaces, uh, firefighters say that you need to take certain steps to make sure that they are running properly. When it comes to heating your home, there's some very specific do's and don'ts. Before the cold weather sits in, Daniel Arispe with the Fire Fire Department says do have your fireplace serviced to make sure it's in working order. If you have a a, a wood burning fireplace, make sure that the, the flue is open. That way that the, the gases and the heat can escape from the chimney. Check smoke detectors and carbon monoxide filters. On the list of don'ts, Arispe says that fire pits are at the top of the list. If you're using a fire pit or anything for warmth, make sure it's kept away from a home and make sure it's well ventilated, right? This gives off carbon monoxide and create, can create a hazard to your home if it's too close to your home in a patio or garage area. So never use an open flame or wood burning to, to heat your home. In the event of an emergency, avoid candles. Instead, use flashlights. As for space heaters. Also, we want to avoid using a extension cord or surge protector to, to connect to a, um, to a heater. Keep them three feet away from other objects, turn them off when you leave the room, and be mindful with pets around. And losing power during the cold weather can be more than just an inconvenience. It could spill carbon monoxide danger. Cleveland Clinic's doctor Tom Waters says one thing you should absolutely not do during an outage is use your gas oven for a heater. If your power is out, you do absolutely do not want to use your stove to heat your house. And also, if you're using backup generators in the winter, obviously the exhaust has carbon monoxide in it, so you have to make sure that, that those are placed outside in a well-ventilated area. And just to reiterate, they say a very important step in any household is to make sure that you check those smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Great information, Brittany. Thank you.